worshiping fashionably. Why not? Faith, Hope, and Love Designs, we know them as FHL, mm -hmm. was conceptualized and is operated by Jamaica's very own top-of-the-line Christian designer, Natisha Williams. I'd say a designer and she's a Christian. And she seeks to let others know that Christians can and should look fashionably modest. You're, you're a child of a king. This morning we talked to her about fashion ministry. Hi, Natisha. Hey, girly, uh, how are you doing? I'm yeah. blessed and favored. I'm as, giving God so much thanks. As always, <laughs> as always. Girl, if they look at you and look where you're coming from. I when know, you were oh sleeping gosh, on the people. bridge and lose I your, know. right? I mean, your testimony is like mind blowing. Give us the, the synopsis now. Give us a summary version. Of okay, when he was right. on your so the face. The version is that I, I have a story, no doubt. My story is of such, you know, after I came into Christendom, God, I didn't know nothing about fashion. Absolutely nothing about fashion. And the Lord visited me in a dream and told me that he's going to give me a career that I know not of. And, I mean, at that time, my faith wasn't so anchored. So I, I, um, I, I didn't trust God. I'm being honest. I didn't trust God. The way I trust God, no, no, my faith is undiluted. But hmm. at that time, when God spoke, I was like, "Why, well, God? Yo, I'm, I mean, I'm 20, I'm 27 now. I said, God, I'm old, and to get a new career, that for me, that was kind of impossible. Because I mean, me not a big education, so boy, I go back to school, go train or whatever. Because I, I, at that time, I didn't like train, I didn't like school. You know what I mean? And it's just so funny where where FHL designs always started and where we are now. Because as I would continue then, my faith would grow. My faith would grow in God. And then you now I would see where, when I was when I was on the streets, so, you know, when I started, I started making some some free flow tops and, and, and I would take them to the street. Matigo Bay was my favorite spot. And when I was taking them there, the response was good. Persons were buying those tops. And I was amazed because at that point, I, I was so broke. I, I never knew what money looks like or fees like to have again. And let me tell you something. The, my first sale in Montego Bay one weekend was $13,000. And let me tell you something, Simone and Delia. So when I see that $13,000, may I tell you, the first thing I, I did was I took out my time. I took out 10% of that. And I said, God, no, God, you're good. I said, God, you're good. And I put that away. And let me tell you something. So that encouraged my faith then. And of course, I believed God. And I, I couldn't wait for the day when I went... Um, would come when I would be able to make a dress because I, I love to look fashionable. I love clothing. Mm. And the day when I made my first dress, I actually cried. I was like, God, increase my faith. Give me grace to believe what you said is going to work. And here I am today. So that's just a, a, a brief, yes. a summarized yes. session of <laughs> FHL. So here I am today. So listen, you know, Natisha, so I... Person. I've heard about dance ministry. I've heard about gospel ministry. Tell me now, what's fashion ministry? Ah, uh, thank you so much for that question, Delia. All right, so we were just doing fashion as a fashion, you know, we know it in Jamaican terms or whatever. And one day we were here praying because here at Eric Essential Design, we pray a lot. And anybody who that who know who know us will know that I am a prayer woman. And we're in praying one day, and I just hear the Lord said to me and um think there uh we're doing devotion so when he spoke to me i was like wow he said it is a fashion ministry and it was in a very soft subtle voice so i knew it was a voice of god and i was like oh i've never heard that i've never heard a fashion ministry and we started to blaze the tagline you know fhl designs fashion ministry and the more we we will would blaze the realized person will come in here not just for clothing but also for, for prayer, you know, as they would come and would pray over the pieces. Sometimes persons come here and they come and as they would come, I would re I realize something is wrong because I have a discerning spirit. Mm -hmm. And I would call them and say, what's happening? Talk to me. And some, so, you know, so we will have a little session. We will talk, we, I would pray with them and say, listen, man, whatever it is, God is bigger than that. Whatever it is, God is able to fix it. There is nothing too hard that God cannot fix. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. We could ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that works in us. So sometimes I'll just lay my hands on them and say, God, accelerate that power. Let that power be manifested in them. You know, so 
So that's where the ministry comes in. So it's not just about fashion and style and whatever. No. I believe God is a wholesome God and we were, he wants us to be whole. So that's a big part of what we do here at FHL Design. So I'm looking at what you're wearing now, Nat, and I can, I can testify, Nat has made some pieces for me when she delivered them. She's not leaving unless she are pray. You understand? And that's as you can right. see, she's a prayer. Him. But I'm looking at what you have on now, Nat, and I, I wonder, yeah. uh, uh, the, the, the discerning, the wholesome um, image that you speak of, because there are some Christians who are probably looking at you now and saying yes. that you are showing too much flesh. So oh. how does that spirit of discernment guide you as to what you wear? Some of your pieces are sleeveless. You know, some Christians have an issue with yes. that. They might take yes. the split is too high. They might have an issue with that. So how does that inform what you make and what you produce from Faith, Hope and Love Designs? Thank you for that question again, Simone. A very awesome and a very powerful question. Right, so, okay, so some Christian find don't wear sleeveless, some Christian um, wear, wear, right, so some Christian don't wear sleeve, some wear sleeveless, whatever, but um, what happened? So FHL design is guided by moderation. I believe moderation is what go should govern a Christian life. However, I'm not, I will not speak against the one who does not believe in sleeveless, you know, I will not speak against the one who will not wear a split or whatever it is to each his own. But as the FHL design is guided by moderation, we, we do off shoulders, we do garments, I mean, we do sleeveless, we do pickable. Because remember, though it's a fashion ministry, we're not just catering only for Christians. Because when Jesus Christ was on the earth, Jesus Christ did not only communicate with Christians. As, he, as his word says, that he's not here for the righteous, he's here for the sinners, right? Because the righteous is already whole. So if they're already whole, I mean, they're okay. They don't need healing, right? So so, so, so we design for the Christian and we design also for the cinnamon in that when a cinnamon comes into our space, an unsafe person, person coming to our space, right? It is our responsibility now. Then when we're releasing our peace, we're releasing with grace, mercy, truth, and salvation. Now, if we um, think they're going to, they want a split. Now they know, our, we have only go split mm. and we have... Uh, Pentecostal split. No, the Pentecostal split now is at the knee. And I don't know if um, Tara can go down somewhere. We have the Holy Ghost split and the Pentecostal. <laughs> that one on the, on the camera, that one you have on the camera, that is the Holy Ghost split, that, that African skirt. <sighs> that is considered a Holy Ghost split. And if you realize, the split is uh, like two inches above, above the knee. So right? the, the Pentecostal but, split is where, miss? At the knee. Oh. <laughs> Okay. The Adventists so the don't have a split. That one is at the toe. Right, so well. No, so, um, no, no. That's it. If you don't want a split, that's it. Because we have pieces that does not carry a split. Right. But of course, we are a modern fashion designer as well. Too, so we have to go along with what's happening. Because we will not stand in an industry like this. Because when I think of fashion and Christianity, that alone contradicts itself. Okay, like, how does fashion and Christianity work when we all know that the fashion industry is a deceiving industry if you're not rooted right so so even here sometimes i'm tempted sometimes i want to do some wicked splitting them on some really killer splitting them you know when they see the girls them not the world with designer when i make some split all the way up to them you know to them um so you're thigh. Like, you're like, wow, yeah. so sexy you, you know you're like you're like boy god but now like oh god yo that that yo that look good but guess what i cannot do that and god is like no i am no, not. separated <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I am called for this to make a difference in the fashion world. So I have my own stage. So I have to just sing my song. And so I'm not doing as others are doing. I'm just doing that which God gave me grace to do. Yeah. All right, my love. And doing it well. Um, Bless and, you, and building your clientele. You you have your storefront in Old Harbor, right? Yes. Okay. And gutters. At gutters in Old Harbor. And, and are you still placing pieces at stores? in Kingston or is that where you're operating from now? We operate only and solely from the gutters, um, okay. touch boutique and, and store outlet right here in gutters. We are kind of um, shy away from, from the from delivering, like doing the wholesale pieces because it was pulling against us a lot because gotcha. our clientele has increased and okay. not just um, those who walk in but our, our, our custom clientele has increased. I know that that now take a lot of time because we're talking about individual person. Right. We now have to make sure that we are really pleasing those person. 
okay. know, to make sure that the intricacy comes in and it's just different working with an individual than when you're doing um, Holds, yeah. um and production for like stores and so which we have our own um ready to wear collection here and we're working now on our on our Christmas collection coming up now that we have a giveaway for that as well too. But yeah, but um yeah, but I think of a relationship in Kingston with a particular store, make sure um Simone that you know about, yeah. which I think for this holiday I might um re um connect with. Oh, connect cool. with because she's also my sister in Christ as well now. Okay. So I think I'll be connecting with them for Christmas because I mean uh, Persons are still crying out for FHL Designs. There. Yes, so well, we, 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 we have to go, Nats. We have to go. Where do people find you on, on Instagram? It's FHL Designs, right? FHL Designs, J-A. J-A, okay. And, you know, we have a website at um, FHLDesignsJA.com. All right. All right, darling. Amen, sister. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nats. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I love one of bad, bad, bad. Mwah, yes, mwah, mwah. yes. We, 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 need, we need to get some <laughs> FHL. You tired? Yes. You tired of watching us? No, no, oh. no, no. Uh, Shall the Williams energy, Clive, Clive energy. <laughs> All, <laughs> All right, right. girlie. Take care, Nat. Good to link oh, with you this know. morning. Oh, such an awesome spirit. Boy, when I wanna tell you she's been through it, and here she is. Here she is. Here, here she, she is. is. Here Boy. she is. Wow, um, Natisha Williams, uh, Christian designer, or should, as Dale said, Christian and designer, and her company is Faith, Hope, and Love Designs, or FHL. When do you call it a relation sinking ship? <laughs> I know, so you prompt us, eh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when does the relation boat go under and you chuck off? See there? <laughs> That's the topic on our table in today's Girl Talk. So we soon come. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Titanic. Oh,